If you're not bringing images off the front surface of that lens, you impact your depth budget. So you don't want to worry about window violations when you're making that particular. Now when you're framing it, that's a different issue. If you physically float the mat, you know, four inches or so off the surface, now you've eliminated the window violation. The other thing you've done is something very interesting psychologically. If I take two lenticulars, I have one that's matted, and then one that's framed in the shadow box. When the brain looks at it, the shadow box one looks much deeper. Because the one that has the mat on the surface, your brain knows nothing's coming forward of that mat. But the one in the shadow box is like, your brain knows nothing's coming forward of that mat, which is already floating on the surface. So if you're doing something for a gallery or your home, and you want the most dramatic boom, frame those things in a, in a depth shadow box type frame. So I mentioned that shadow box. Uh, the other thing about it, uh, the lenticulars do have surface reflection issues. If you see a neat one, like in the gallery, and you take a flash picture of it, you can get this white stripe across the image because all those lenticules reflect that way. So what some people do is uh, photograph them without using flash, or they'll put the lenticular material in a light box so it's backlit, and that works very <coughs> well because then you, it sort of makes the individual lenticules disappear, which is nice. But that's more of an advanced thing. Maybe you'll get away with a light box in a commercial application. You're probably not going to use it in your home uh, or in a place of business. So online resources. Well, the biggest thing you can do online is Google anything pertaining to lenticular. How to make lenticular at home. How to make lenticular at home. How to make lenticular at home. Microlens, which is a source of lenses, is good. Lensstar.org is good. We have a, a lenticular Yahoo group that I started probably 10 years ago. It maybe has 50 to 100 people on it. I know some of you in here are, are members of that. But anyway, if you go on there, you can always ask questions. And then there are a few of us that will be happy to answer that. And then LinkedIn has a lenticular group. But it's primarily commercial printers. There aren't many people on that group that are sort of what I call home group lenticular people. Now, having seen all this, you might say, wow, you know, I've got a few stereo images that I would like to have particulars of, but boy, I don't want to do any of that. Okay. I, I will begin by saying I don't do particulars for anyone else besides myself, you know, so I don't even do my own. But there are commercial providers, a lot of people that do make particulars. So one of them that we advertise sometimes in stereo world or on the forums is Geocar. I've seen uh, samples for them. There's a fellow in the Detroit area, Christine, he has a company called Midwest Lenticular. There's a big fellow in Israel, Pop Art 3D, Istic, he's on our forum, he does it. <coughs> Peter Snap 3D, I don't know if you still are or not. He did, did the hand went up. Slight, slight, slight. Oh. he'll do some. Uh, I saw some in the gallery image 3D, so I think that's probably going to take them out. You have to ask him. Commercial service, Snapply Pro. <coughs> Uh, commercial service from Canada, Soft Motion, and Z Axis Prince. He's a fellow, I think, in Oregon. <coughs> maybe Jewel. And, uh, I don't know him personally, but we talked on the phone a couple times, and it sounds very exceedingly knowledgeable. So that would be uh, another source. With that, 11:58, two minutes. I will say I'm pretty much done. But on the table over there, I have three landscapes done on a. 20, 40, and 100 LPI lens, so you can see the difference of lenses. And I have two examples of shadow box framing, one with a one inch frame, one with a two inch frame. I have a couple small prints like I have in the gallery. You saw in the front of the room, I have the parallax test charts on both animation and 3D lenses, and I have some prints here. So you're more than welcome to look at any of those. And if you have any questions, uh, I'm here now. I'll be in room 418, which is my room, from 2 to 4 this afternoon. I have just a few of what I call my class B pictures left, which are lenticules, which are slight defects, a part of basic prices. Uh, but I'm also happy to address any specific question one on one there. And then Sunday, we're going to have a lenticular SIG meeting. It's either 10 or 11 in the morning. I'll go to the program. That'll be an hour. And again, if you have any questions, you know, I and others, you know, if you can be a round table thing, we can uh, discuss that issue. Thank you very much.